Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from uh, the Sleaze Box. Uh, this is not yet released. It'll be released shortly. They were playing at you know some fest here and there, but it is Chaos AD. Uh, uh, Chris Woods and the Sleaze Box boys made this movie. It has uh, a bunch of the Sleaze Box familiars in here. You guys have ever seen Make Them Die Sleaze, The American Holocaust. You guys know the titles, uh, and uh, they sure do live up to their name, folks, don't they? Uh, I gotta say that. Uh, Chaos AD is, again, uh, this is also involved with Sean Donahue, who did, uh, you know, Die Die Delta Pi and uh, Descort Service, which were also, uh, Descort Service was very gratuitous as well. That was a, a pairing of him and uh, Chris Woods. But essentially, that group of guys can make super sleaze all the time. And, uh, you know, Chaos AD is, is very much that. Uh, what we have is a brother and sister who uh, get in a fight with their father on Halloween night. They run out and they end up at a Halloween party. They're abducted by these uh, crazy group of uh, females uh, who proceed to torture and beat and rape and humiliate them. So it is definitely in the torture porn genre. There's a bunch of other people also in cages, also who they collected over the night. Uh and they're going to torture and beat all these people until they have to fight for their life and uh, somehow get the upper hand at one point and retaliate. Uh, the thing about this is what I enjoyed... Sorry, guys, I'm kind of stuffed up. I, I really enjoyed that it took place on Halloween. I love that. So you get uh, decorations, you get uh, costumes. I'm a big sucker for that. Uh, I like that uh, a lot of the... Uh, Villains were females. I thought that it was nice to see uh, females actually torturing and killing people for a change. Uh, and I uh, and I liked some of the, the primary color lighting or the bright lights, and I dug uh, the score and soundtrack. Uh, the acting in this film ranges uh, from, you know, uh, there's all different uh, qualities of acting. I think in this film, some stick out better than others to me. Uh, Joel D. Wycoop is in it, uh, who I absolutely love. Uh, he's one of my favorite kind of indie actors, so I got to mention him. Uh, you know, of course, like Bob Glazer's in it. And uh, like I said, everybody from their other movies is into here again. And uh, they're pretty much all nude uh, and all, including Bob Glazer again. So, uh, like I'll say, uh, this definitely was not necessarily for me because I'm, I'm kind of a, you know, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of, uh, I do enjoy some torture films here and there, but I'm not a huge fan of the genre. Uh, but uh, like I said, every second on uh, cameras, either gratuitous sleaze or gratuitous nudity or gratuitous violence. So uh, there's going to be a lot of fans of this movie regardless, and I'm here to tell you that this one has pretty much everything you can think of when it comes to that kind of gross stuff. Uh, castration, uh urination in someone's mouth forcefully uh, yep yeah. nipple biting cannibalism all sorts of ridiculous taboo type deals uh it's a it's a boundary pusher uh like i said some of the uh i think scenes go on a little too long the movie it runs in at an hour and 40 minutes on uh for an independent movie that's that's a little long uh there's a there's a kind of a scuffle at the end of fight and uh it keeps cutting between three fights which i think is kind of cool but uh some of it goes on too long and it makes it look a little bit fake i think that maybe it was tighter or just uh cut a little bit more that that would have flowed a little bit better so yeah that that kind of hurts uh hurts it at places and like i said some of the some of the dialogue is a little iffy in places but uh you know definitely never uh underestimate these people's drive and their braveness for what they do it appears that there's almost uh semi simulated sex in here it almost seems pretty much real at points maybe some real oral sex and definitely some real hand job stuff going on in the film so like i said the movie has guts the movie has gore the movie has sleaze and lives up to its title uh there is a twist at the end which i kind of enjoyed and uh i think that i would enjoy the movie more if it turned into more of a game of survival and uh the kind of the politician character i'm not understanding i understand why he was just kind of brought in as an interesting type character, but I, I don't believe he lived up to his full potential in the film. But uh, uh, Mr. Parka, if you guys are interested in Chaos AD, it's a sleazy, nasty one. Uh, check below in the description box, and uh, I know some of you guys will really dig this, especially if you like the other sleaze box stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I really dig, uh, like, I, I enjoyed, I remember, like, in American All Cost, and I really dug uh, the Desk Work Service, which is kind of like a sleaze box uh, combination. So I, I do feel that it is semi kind of like Desk Work Service in, in, in its, in its kind of substance with the, the gratuitous stuff. But uh, I just enjoyed the plot to Desk Work Service a little bit more. Uh, I'm Mr. Parker. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.